hello welcome to this video it has been a while since i last up there uploaded content on this channel so but now i'm going to be committing myself to every friday or saturday this i make some video and upload to the channel so that we keep growing together so today we are going to be starting series that are going to be updated every friday or saturday today we are going to be looking at unboxing a computer not in terms of removing it from the box but you have already purchased your computer and you have powered it on and you're on the screen like the one i have maybe what may be different maybe you may be having some programs that are installed and also having the default icons present on your machine if you're not having the default icons present on your machine so they are the ones you're going to add first in order to be able to add the first default icons to your desktop this is the desktop you quite close to the computer so you right click in any space in the desktop you should not select any icon like the ones you have in the left top corner you right click here in open space then you go to personalize after personalize you will always look for themes so depending on the windows you have if you're having windows 11 yeah it is also having the themes part but maybe where it is located maybe it may be located on this side but on windows 10 it is here on the left themes then when you click on themes you look for desktop icons for windows 11 also maybe it is located down this side but for windows and it is in the top right corner this one so having selected desktop icons they'll they'll appear these are our default desktop icons and every computer should have them this is how we add them to our machine especially the machines when you have just bought it when it has just been just installed when they have just installed operating system on them on it do not have these icons by default and these are essential icons that you'll be using to access most of the things you need in your computer so having added desktop icons they have gone there this is also where you change your background color from your lock screen also image from so background you choose any image you need as you can see now it has changed so let us go and check so this is here down we have a taskbar every work that we open we always occupy our desktop so if we minimize it we utilize this this is minimize this is maximize if you want it to fill the whole screen so for example let me make it small if i make it small you can see that our desktop our background has changed and also our icons have come so if i need it to occupy the full screen i just maximize it occupy the full screen so if i don't want to see it on the on the, on the on the desktop i can just minimize it and when i minimize it it comes down here this is our taskbar so everything we do and we minimize comes here in order to access it just come and click on it and it will pop up again basically that's how we change background add our default icon to to the desktop then also maximize and minimize our tabs that are open okay so basically the arrangement of these icons is quite different depending on it maybe you have arranged them differently maybe you arranging them differently but always this one is always on top don't worry i'm going to see how to, how we are going to do that but if also the size maybe by default the size in mid is in medium if uh, you when where you bought the pc they never tempered with it it's always in medium so if you want these icons bigger you right click again open space view then you make them larger again if you want them uh, maybe medium larger is too big say medium they will normally come in medium but me i love small small icons and also to arrange them the way they are supposed to be arranged okay everybody has his preferred arrangement so but by default they are supposed to be arranged like this your username this pc network recycle bin and uh, control point then this is just an is an application that uh, you they may have installed for you for example i installed chrome because i use it to access the internet basically this is your username and it is located uh, i'll show it is located this is your username and this is where your 
files that are saved in the desktop, you'll find them inside here. Everything you do here, it goes here inside. Then this is uh, this PC, this is where you access your storage. For example, hard drive or flash, anything you attach to the, the computer, you'll, you'll find it here, even if it is a, a new printer, USB, maybe that is having uh, some uh, drivers on it, you can normally find it here. Or maybe if, if the printer is not uh, by USB network and uh, it is by CD, you, you always find it. Any if you attach the computer that needs recognizing, especially if mainly the storage, maybe also your mobile phone, you normally find them in this PC. In this PC, we have storage, have by local disk C, as you can see, and local disk D. It may be local disk D, or it may be new volume D, depending on how you're seeing yours. But if you're having local disk C only and you're having maybe 1000 GBs, then they might have been a problem when they're configuring your computer. They forgot the partition for you, which is a bad practice because anything that is in C, if your computer is attacked by malware, that is a virus, you normally remove everything in drive C. So if you have only drive C and you don't have drive D, yeah, it is, uh, you're supposed to use it as a technician so that we can do it for you in a professional way so that you don't lose your work. That you can have drive D and drive C or drive D. You can have many, maybe up to four on, on some type, but that is a little bit technical. Just know you can have C and D, maybe, and others, depending on your, on your, on your hard disk type. For most of our work, we keep it in drive D. To you earlier, anything you save in drive C when the computer gets a problem, maybe it has been affected by a virus. When we are reinstalling the operating system, we are likely to remove everything in drive C, and in drive C includes also the things in your desktop. So, if you're having your productivity work you're doing, always come to so after that icon, as you can see, I can minimize this. I've minimized it. We have this network, it's an easy to access network resources. So, depending on where you are. If you're working in an organization that you already have maybe servers that are, pro, are providing uh, provi providing to you file services, print services, maybe uh, email services, you, you, you will find them under here. But right now, we are not connected to any network, so it is not going to show this message that network discovery is turned off and because you're not connected to any network. So we shall also reach that when you reach the time of connecting your PC to the internet. And then a recycle bin, everything that you delete will not automatically be deleted depending on its size. So if you have a file, maybe that is about 9 GB, then maybe the computer will tell you that this file is too big, it cannot be kept in the recycle bin, so you are going to delete it permanently. But for small files, it is more likely that everything you delete goes to the recycle bin and when it is occupied you see it is having it it shows that it's not empty it's having some files in it so if you find it empty and you, you really have deleted a lot of work and you don't need it to be in the recycle bin you can always right click on it and empty the recycle bin it has five items so if i have deleted and i'm not going there to empty the recycle bin remember they will be still occupying my disk space so if i delete them the recycle bin will be empty, showing that there is nothing there. Then this control panel, we normally use it for technical things, maybe adding users, adding users and doing other system configuration. So this one is a little bit technical, and if you don't know what you're doing, you should not always temper with this side, because you may ruin your PC. It's always good to get a professional to do the rest of the technical work for you. So that is the this uh, control panel. Then this Chrome uh, browser specifically I installed it. I, I don't know if we are on the same desktop as we are seeing because recently I had colleagues ask basically that why I came back to start producing content. Many of the colleagues, you know, in the market there, there are different types of computers. We have these Windows computers that use Windows operating system and we have some other type of computers. These ones are normally made for children in school. They are called Chromebooks and they normally have this icon. On their 
laptop screen back cover they normally have this sign on it and their keyboard does not have from f1 up to f12 maybe it starts with two arrows one pointing in the left one pointing in the right and it's a little bit smaller in size and maybe it's maximum storage is currently i think but the ones which are popular maybe it can go up to 32 32 gbs of storage so these types of computers they are made for those children who have schools who have systems that are running online and if also you have you have already your system that is running online maybe you can buy a chromebook but if you need more productivity basically you will need to buy a windows machine like what you're seeing right now we are working on the windows machine so basically i installed uh, this chrome to show you that some of you may have bought this thinking that you're buying this this one is the laptops which have this chrome sign they're a little bit cheaper a little bit cheaper and uh, nowadays there are so 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 many in the market that if you're not careful you may be buying a chromebook thinking you're buying uh, 